Peace be to you. Ah, oh, this is Omar Abdul Malik, physician assistant and health educator. <laughs> so I'm doing a workout today. I'm trying to keep up with the uh, one of uh, my Instagram contacts, which is 33 minutes of exercise every day for the next 33 days. She's going to turn uh, 33. But I thought I would talk about uh, uh, regrets because somebody asked me um, you know what were my regrets in undergraduate my next big milestone is is 50 for me uh, in, in September you now one of the biggest regrets I have academically is that I didn't push myself hard enough and I didn't find out what um, how to study really uh, early in my my academic sojourn and then once I kind of figured it out I didn't exercise the discipline necessary to overcome my deficits so you know it was very difficult for me to pick up certain academic concepts uh, that meant that I had to work harder and longer and I had to do like kind of preemptive strikes <laughs> against certain courses like chemistry, biochemistry, physics in particular. You know, this takes this takes discipline. It means you read the chapter before before the beginning of the semester, if you can, or certainly read the chapter before the class. It also means that you you stay awake, <laughs> you don't go to bed late. <laughs> And you, you, uh, you get up early for your class so you can review the class notes. Once I would start doing this, I always would do well in, in my classes and on my exams, and which would result in good grades. But I wasn't consistent with it. You know, boy, right, sir, a lot of people, yeah, you know, I see a lot of folks in undergrad, undergraduate and in high school say they want to go to medical school. Or now, you know, they want to go to PA school. But, you know, they'll ask me questions like, well, can I get in with a with a 2.0? <laughs> well, you can, maybe. You can be that one outlier. But it doesn't look good. You know, um, you have to be disciplined, guys. You have to, to really, you know, if you have deficits, you got to figure out what you need to do to overcome those. And I, I did not. Now, I was fortunate enough to get into PA school and to be ver very frank with you uh, this was 20 years ago this was back in 97 so I don't know with the grades that I had in uh, an undergrad my overall GPA was like a, a 3.1 I think in my my science GPA was a horrible very mediocre 2.6 <laughs> yeah you know, I got halfway decent GRE scores but they weren't stellar and I had taken the MCAT three times and still wound up with relatively mediocre scores but um you know my, my regret is that oh oh sorry I'm being tangential uh, I don't know that I would have gotten them to PA school with the way the standards are now I mean some of you guys I see on LinkedIn or Instagram and Facebook you're trying to get into PA school you got 3.5 GPAs decent GRE scores tons of direct patient contact hours you apply to multiple schools and still didn't get into PA school so I don't know that I would have gotten in by today's standards yeah I want to be somebody who has a legacy of setting and following and establishing high standards for himself not the guy who barely got stuff done you know putting forth the kind of half behind effort demi pigeous effort you know so that's that's my big regret is that I did I really didn't um, I didn't do what I needed to do uh, I chose I could say I chose to go I, I chose to become a PA instead of a doctor but the fact of the matter is I was trying to become a doctor 30 years ago I was trying to get into medical school um, or at least be a 
serious pre-med student. Uh, and I, I didn't, I waffled around a lot. I mean, there were guys that were either cheated or they were above average intelligence. <laughs> they seemed to stay drunk through their undergraduate years. They're like, dude, dude, I was so drunk. Dude, I had a terrible hangover. I forgot we even had an exam the day, dude. I studied a little bit. I got a 75 on it. I guess with the curve, I'll get like an 80. You know, no worries. I'm sitting there trying to study, <laughs> getting a 55 on the exam. <laughs> yeah, and that was just this guy's gift. I knew a number of guys like that. Some gals. I think, I think young ladies tend to be more serious students overall. But um, that's my that's my regret. But for the other stuff, I think my life has turned out thus far um, really well. I'm happy with it. I got a great family. Took them out here to work out with me. Got good health, thank God. Ah, go off it, go. This is my youngest son. Here, I'll race you up the hill. I'll race you up the hill. Ah. So that's that's my regret. If I had it to do over again, I'd like to think that I would study a bit more efficiently. Um, that's really it. So I, for those of you guys that are trying to get into uh, PA school, I'd invite you to check out my YouTube channel um, for tips on how to get into and get through PA school and even get your first job and establish yourself as, a, as an exceptional professional. It's been a great 17 years of being a PA for me. Um, I wish you guys the best of success in your positive endeavors. My workout is done. Thank God. Whew. So, uh, peace. Take care.